Hello everyone. I thought I'd show you how far I got on my albums. Um, I kind of just did the, the structure of it for now. So I showed you these two already. These are the first two that I, um, I made. And then I made two more. So I decorated two other of the albums. Um, I didn't put the stars on these. I'm kind of, I think I will because they look a little empty. So, uh, so I made two cream and two butter. And what I decided to do after I took apart the albums, the, there were so many photos that I couldn't really put them all. I couldn't figure out how to arrange them all in these. So I separated them. So the two creams are going to have one, it will be the car wash, one will be the beach, and then one will be the room, and one will be the lineup. So it'll be all separate albums. And the way that I uh, I did I told you I was thinking of um, cutting out the sides. And so that's what I did. This took a really long time to do. So I cut off the top, cut off the bottom. So this comes down, and this also will open up like this. Uh... It was actually relatively easy to cut because um, I don't know if you can see because of the paper, but it's beveled here. Let me see if I can hold it up this way. I don't know. You can't really see it. Um, and so this this part is thick, but this part right here where it bends is actually very thin. And so it only took like two or three, um, what is it, swipes of the knife to cut it off. It was pretty easy. Um, and then... This bottom part, this back part was all brown. It didn't have uh, this cover on it. And so I actually bought um, cardstock, similar color cardstock, and measured it out, cut it, taped it down. And yeah, for the top here, I think I'm going to have to hot glue or something because it, it keeps coming up a little bit. I don't know if you can see, it comes up a little bit with the tape that I use. It's a really strong tape, but for some reason it's not adhering to this very well. So. I think I'm going to have to either hot glue it or use um, a really strong um, adhesive to get it stuck on. Because it should be like this with no gaps. But as much as I push it down, it comes back up again. So, yeah. Anyway, that I will have to work on. Um, yeah, so I cut off the top and the bottom. The first one I did, I was talking to my daughter while I was doing it. And I actually made a, a slight boo-boo. Oops. And um, I cut off the wrong sides. I cut off <laughs> these sides instead of the top and bottom. And so this one, it's a little bit awkward. I put a ribbon because it didn't look pretty. But can you hear it? That's because uh, it was taped on. That's the tape noise. I had to retape it after I cut it off. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why you should always be very focused while you're doing this. But yeah, so the rest of them I did all the same way. Um, has the flap. The top and bottom is off. And then I took construction paper, not construction paper, um, cardstock paper, and I made pages. So this one was the first one that I started working on. And so I have the first page done also. Um, and then I put all the related uh, pictures inside. But what I did was, uh, I made, I have a few extra, where did I put them? So I made pages, I measured out the size of the center here, the center here, and I made it a little bit smaller than the actual box. So it's, it's like that size. Is it too high? It's like that size. And I tend to, um, it gets bulky. If you make it completely flat, all the pages like flat, it gets bulky because you're adding stuff in here. And then, you know, you get those binders where they kind of do this instead of closing. And so what I did was I took a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I cut it down. But I left an eighth of an inch um, in the middle. So there's like a little gap that gives me an eighth of an inch if I want to add like little embellishments or if I add layers of paper. Um, it will still allow this thing to close. But doing this, I can't put as many pages in. So I actually, they have between eight and nine pages. I couldn't fit more than that. Um, but what I did is instead of, um, instead of making every single one this space. So I, instead of like, uh, I put them next to each other like this. I didn't glue these down. 
So that's one option you can have. You can glue these together so that this is one page. And so we'll have one page, eighth of an inch, one page, eighth of an inch, one page, and so on and so forth. But what I did was I did not glue this down. And so it'll be one page that is an eighth of an inch, one page that is flat, and then one page that is an eighth of an inch, and so on and so forth that way. Um, and I left it that way, one, so that I can have extra pages for pictures, but two, um, because I don't think I'm actually going to use the whole eighth of an inch for most of it. And so even if um, this side, it, it gets a little bulky, there's still room. Like, you know, if I did a quarter inch uh, of embellishments, it would, it would give me enough room with the eighth of an inch space. Does that make sense? So anyway, um, <laughs> so this is how it is. I stuck in all the pictures that's related to this theme. So all the car wash pictures are in here. And what I did was the first page was like kind of like group stuff and whatnot. And then each one, each eighth inch page I had, I put in each person. So it's going to be, it's going to go in order. So it'll be RM here. And then this is my flat page. This is uh, Jin. And then it'll be the flat page in between the two and then sugar and so on and so forth. And so I, I have seven, um, seven of these, one for each member. And then the beginning would be the group pictures that we saw. And this is the first one that I did. Um, it's almost complete. I might embellish it a little bit more, but uh, I put the group picture here. And then this one I made a flap. I don't know if I'll do this with the other books that I have, but this one has a flap. So I cut out their pictures and then it opens up with the two group pictures like this. This was hard to do. I had to figure out how to get it so that it wasn't too much of a gap, but it, it was close close enough to not have a gap, but far enough that it would close properly because it kept on catching. That was annoying, but it, I think I worked it. I managed it okay. The gap's not too big. You don't see too much of an orange there, but yeah. And then the backside, I haven't done anything for the backside yet. I think um, where they come together, I'm going to actually start RM's pictures here and then use this. And then the next one where the, the next two come, this will be starting Jin's page and so on and so forth. And so all the way back to here, it'll end with Jungle here. And then this, I just have to figure something out. This one I miscalculated and I taped it down without um, adding enough paper for it to open. So I just had to, it tore, I had to cut it. It doesn't look pretty. I didn't have to do something about that, I think. But yeah, so that's how um, all of them are. I'm, I bought like a bunch of different colored papers to match the pictures. Um, so for the car wash, all the pages are in yellow and, let me see, yeah, dark yellow and orange. And so I alternated with this one. Uh, for the beach scene, the beach scene has a lot more colors to it. And so for the beach scene, I did the first page. I think that, uh, oh, I glued down these. I haven't decorated them yet, but I've glued them down. Yeah, so the group pictures, all the group pictures, um, I started, I put them on blue because that's kind of like the dominant background color. And then... The rest of the pages I did alternating. So there's a teal, teal page followed by a blue, dark, you know, the, the royal blue page and then a teal and blue and so on and so forth. So back and forth. I did those two as the main and I'm going to use the orange and the yellow just for like matting or for accents and things like that for uh, the beach. And then here is the lineup, the lineup. Um, it's mainly two colors. It's the orange and the, and the black that they're wearing. Oh, no, the white, of course. But, uh, because it's, it's mainly the orange and the black that really stand out, I decided to do black, all black pages on this one. So these are all black. And this one I haven't started yet. Uh, I haven't worked on anything for this one yet. But they're all black. And I'm going to use the colors just for matting and for accents and stuff like that. And then this one. The other pictures um, I just stuck on as is. This one I decided to match because I wanted it to, to kind of like stand out a little more. Um, and this one I used all yellow, lighter yellow. So I had two yellows. 
Um, I have oh, not this one. I had a darker yellow, like a orangey yellow, that is similar to the box. So I have this yellow that's similar to this box. Oh, I'm kind of out of camera. I have this yellow that's similar to this box, and then I have this lighter yellow um, that is similar to the butter butter cover. Uh, it's that color is a little bit more dominant. Yeah, this butter color. So it's more dominant in this game room. And so I made all the pages for the the game room um, this lighter yellow. And they're all they're all arranged in the same way. So the front will be the group pictures and then the the back will be each individual. Yeah. So that's as far as I got. Um, I will show you when I get the pages, pictures glued down to the pages and decorated. Okay. Bye.